Hello everybody and welcome back students watching. Today is our next activity lesson. And for this activity lesson, we are going to be learning about, we're gonna be learning about a few leaders, a few leaders of America. So what are some le leaders of America? Well, um, a mayor is the leader of a city, town. A mayor is a, city, a leader of a city or a town. So uh, a mayor could be either a man or a woman, but mayors are most popular with women. Anyway, have you ever heard of United States mayors now? Well, mayors that that work the um, city that has the most mayors in America is actually Washington D.C. It is a huge capital. If you look on the map, the world map, you might you might see that this map has a star here, a star with a circle in it. What does it represent? Does it represent magic? Does it represent um does it represent magic or maybe does it represent uh, the capital? Well, it represents for the capital of the United States. So the capital of the, of the United States is, is definitely Washington, D.C. Now, what about a governor? A governor. Who is a governor? Well, a governor is a governor is the leader, the le leader of a state. So, do you understand the governor now? Some um, governor of the United States is, could be uh, Mark Gordon and other interesting people. Now, who is the leader of the whole of the whole country? Well, the leader. The leader of the whole country is the president. So who is the 46th president of the United States? Well, the 46th president of the United States is George Washington. I mean, uh, Joe Biden. And the first is George Washington going all the way up to 44 we have barack barack obama some people usually vote for a president how old should you be for you to vote how old well if you are old enough how old are you and when do you start to vote? Okay, write that down in the comments below. So now, what does... Uh, what does the president usually do? He usually types on his computer. He just sound a cult. 
tick tack tick tack. So the president not only writes on his computer, but he takes notes on clipboards as well. These days, people use tablets and not clipboards, as you can see on the screen. Anyway, you might see, or you could look at the first, the, the president or maybe the mayor or the governor. Make, you might want to take a full round trip around the White House, watch Tom and Jerry movie in the theater and have a nice bathe in, in the pool at the White House as well. Because the White House has all sorts of entertainments. A pool, uh, a bowling alley, <laughs> uh, golf, go <clears throat> many golf court, and finally, a, saw, um, a movie theater, a pool, and a soccer field. So those are all types of sports presidents, presidents can do while they are at work. They could also write. Now what about voting? Vote. Who... Who should you vote for? Maybe Georgia, maybe they should, maybe vote signs could say, vote stop Jim Crow laws. What are Jim Crow laws? Well, Jim Crow, Jim Crow laws keep people segregated. Segraded. And even a few white people don't like the segregation rules. Plus, things that, that are in white schools are a lot more expensive than things that are in black Ameri African American schools. Plus, African American schools cost more since their teacher are white their teachers are whites so now who should you vote for maybe you could vote for um george washington or maybe you could vote for abraham lincoln jim or maybe Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, and a few other amazing presidents. So, you need to be around 18 to 19 years old, 18 or maybe 17 years old or more to vote. After you leave college, then you can vote. Okay, so those are your rules of vote for today, voting for today. So a long time ago, they wanted to change the rules of votes. It isn't the reason that you're only allowed to be at 18 years old in order to vote. But still, you, the reason that they wanted to fight the voting rules, it, it, it is because that only men were allowed to vote, but no African-American men, only white men are allowed to vote. And Women are not allowed to vote. Even white women aren't allowed to vote. Ameri African American people don't vote. Never ever. Only white men can get the chance to vote. But voting was also not was also unfair. Like 
like a long time ago, people who voted for Abraham Lincoln more, and then uh, the most people who voted for presidents was the ones who voted for Abraham Lincoln to be the fifteenth. But instead, they chose. But instead, the president of America that that time was pretty much all was pretty much in the way of African of whites. So that's why they chose to keep it and then choose the Breckenridge, that is the president that the South always wants to elect, be the first one to have been there and then abraham lincoln was e that then elected the next so those are some um those are some things about presidents governors mayors uh what do mayors governors and presidents do and voting for the three leaders, M, G, and P, which represent for mayor, governor, and president. So now we are going to be getting to the reading. So now, are you ready to be reading? Well, let's get started. So in the last one, we've been talking about servers. And now we are going to be talking about the mayor and other leaders. God is the ruler of everything. But he has given some people in some people the responsibilities to be leaders in smaller areas. The leader of a town or a city is called a mayor. A mayor's office is at the city hall. The mayor, the people vote to decide which person to be their, their mayor. The mayor gives speeches to explain how he thinks things should be done in the town or city. The president is the lead is the leader of a country. The governor is the leader of your state. The mayor is the leader of your town or city. Look at this map of our country, the United States of America. Find the state you live in and color it. So which state do you live in? For example, you live in Washington, D.C., so you'll color Washington, D.C. Remember, only fill up Washington, D.C. Do not fill up any other ones. There we go. Looks like my coloring of Washington, D.C. is done. So you could add a few more touchings before you give it out. Since it's always good to have a blue line out in the middle of America, so people could really see the border. So you raise, you raise, you raise. So the United States of America now, could you see the star with the circle? That's Washington, D.C. The mayor is a leader in our community. The mayor is what? Well, the mayor is the leader of not just any community. It's one. Number one, he is the leader of a town. Two. He is the leader of a city. Three, he is the leader of, a, of um, let me say, a village and other ones as well. 
The governor is the leader of our state. Our state's governor is the leader of any other state in America. But each state has its own governor. What about George Washington? He is the president, and the president is a person who leads the whole country. So here are some ways to be a good citizen. Don't litter. Put trash in its proper place. Obey traffic sign law signs and laws. Cross the street at the crosswalk. Three. Be kind to your neighbors. Be polite and obey the leaders over you. Show respect for your country's flag. So you see, this is a, re a really good lesson. We have been learning learning about the mayor, the governor, and the president. So remember, the mayor is the leader of the city, town, the city, town, or, or village. The governor is the leader of a state, and a president is the leader of a nation, or a president could be a leader to of a country. And remember the ways to be a good citizen. Do not litter. Put trash in its proper place. Obey traffic signs and laws. Cross the street at the crosswalk. Show respect for your country. And last, and last of all, salute. So those are the ways to be a good citizen. So do you remember about a mayor, a governor, and a president now? Do you remember ways to be a good citizen now? Do you rem Do you remember where does does a mayor work now? Do you remember where does a president work now? Well, the governor and uh, and the mayor all work at the city hall, but the president works at a more beautiful, relaxing place, and that is the White House. Presidents live at the White House, sleep at the White House. Like uh, when they become president, they don't need to afford to live in a house anymore, and they just sell their house and then move to the White House and just afford a room, or maybe not, since they're the leaders there. There's leaders everywhere. So you see, so you say you need to remember where is the mayor's office because we are going to be learning about the next, the uh, next job. What is the next job? Well, the next job is a postal employee or a post officer. A post officer could be uh, get, putting letters in a in a mailbox from the window of his van, minivan, or even they might deliver the mail by leg. So you see, we are going to be learning about postal officers, I mean postal employees in the next lesson. So hope you remember all about today's lesson about mayors, governors, and presidents. So see you next time with the next lesson 
about postal employees. Bye, and see you next time.